In this lesson, we're talking about brainstorming and tools that stimulate creative thinking. I'm Professor Cornish, and this lecture is called Changing the Frame. I'm not sure if you ever heard of the term framing something up or to frame something up, but what does that even mean? Well, Irving Goffman, considered by some as the most influential American sociologist of the 20th century, studied and analyzed people's behaviors. According to his work, Frame Analysis in 1974, a frame is a scheme of interpretation of which details of events and activities we attend are organized and made sensible. It helps us answer questions like, what's going on here? And under what circumstances do we think things are real? Frames can be thought of as conceptual structures that determine meaning, like someone's point of view or how we view a situation. Is the glass half empty or is the glass half full? Let's take school, for example. The frame elements of a school may include teachers, dry erase boards, books, computers, desks, chairs, and so on. Going further, a scenario in a school would tell us what happens in a frame which might include a teacher explaining concept in front of the class of students or a student taking notes at her desk. But if a student were to instruct the teacher seated in the chairs, that scenario would break the frame. It would not fit the frame common to us. You see, frames offer meaning and context. They help us understand what we're looking at. We can use a frame to examine a brand or group looking for creative ways to base and advertise an idea. In this example, FedEx Express visually shows you how they connect people through simply delivering packages. Okay, so how do we frame a scenario or a situation? First, we determine the scenario. What happens in this frame? What is the setting? What are the conditions? Who are the people or groups? What's their point of view around this specific experience? Next, we can ask, what are their goals? What are their assumptions? What are their perceptions? Are there conflicts? Is there cooperation? What are the outcomes in this situation? When we brainstorm to generate ideas, frames can constrain creative thinking, since our common expectations are based on shared experiences. Some people love the electric scooters because of their convenience, and some people hate them because they think they're dangerous and just simply annoying. Changing the frame allows us to explore possibilities and imagine a brand or organization's potential beyond how it's currently perceived. During the brainstorming process, once you identify a frame, try to change that frame. It just might help. Like, maybe these shoes become literally Air Jordans. The deletion strategy game goes like this. Imagine a world without this product, service, commodity, or group type. Then imagine the world without this specific brand or group. For example, imagine there was no ketchup. Now imagine a world without Heinz ketchup. Once you imagine this scenario, it might be easier to understand what people like or love about this brand or group. One successful example of this strategy can be found in the original Got Milk campaign in the 1990s. During the research phase, the client suggested that people tend to drink milk with their favorite foods, such as cookies and peanut butter sandwiches. The focus group that they put together confirmed without milk to go with their favorite snacks, they would feel deprived. This insight led to the strategy of promoting milk as a complimentary beverage to food. In this brainstorming activity, and also in Project 1, you're going to try to set aside your preconceived notions and explore alternatives. Now, I want to challenge you with an exercise in which you'll have to use your imagination. Imagine a world without cars. What would that look like? How do we get around? How would we travel long distances? How much longer would it take for us to get from place to place? What alternatives might emerge? First, 
write a paragraph describing a world without cars. Next, describe in detail a product or service that can thrive in this world. Write a catchy phrase or headline. Finally, describe a hero image that could be used with your headline. Project one will be based off the results of your activity prompt. Imagine a world without cars. Produce an advertisement that reflects your product or service that would thrive in this market. This project can be completed in five easy steps. First, create your poster at 11 inches by 17 inches. Then include your hero image. Next, include your catchy phrase or headline. Then create your own logo or use an existing logo to sign off your advertisement. Finally, export the final image as a PDF. And that's it. You have one week to complete Activity 1 and Project 1. I'm so excited to see what you guys are going to come up with.